We are left with less than two days, just one day and one one uh, one session. Так быстро идет время. У нас всего осталось один день и еще одно служение до конца конференции. So this service that is coming now, and then one whole day tomorrow, that's all. Вот за сегодня вечером служение и завтрашний день и все конец конференции. And tonight. И сегодня вечером. You remember, uh, not yesterday, but yeah, yesterday we heard the testimonies of people who were healed from Pastor Kumuyi's service. Помните вчера мы слушали свидетельства людей, которых Бог исцелил на служении пастора Кумуи. Now I didn't want to testify yesterday because there were so many of you, and I knew I was go take, going to take some time. But since I am the host, I will find a time for myself for some time for myself. Я вчера не хотел свидетельствовать, потому что не было достаточно времени, но поскольку я принимающая сторона, я всегда найду себе местечко за свидетельствовать. Поэтому, используя свое положение, хотел бы засвидетельствовать. Конечно, вы, наверное, не будете ожидать такого свидетельства от пастора, но это правда. You know, secretaries and assistants, they know that you know this is true. Люди, которые близко ко мне, моя супруга и люди, которые работают в офисе, мои помощники, они знают, что это правда. One time we were traveling from our house to the church. Однажды мы ехали из дома в церковь. And uh, there was a temple, a Mormon temple, as you know, the Mormon uh, church. Yeah, their temple. They had built a temple just at the roundabout of the city, and in that temple, if you are in the car, you could see that there is something written on it. But I didn't know. I'd been seeing it for like, yeah, I've been seeing it. That temple, I knew it was there for a year, but I never knew there was something written on it. А вообще на пути от моего дома до церкви есть мормонский храм такой. И мы когда ехали, я постоянно его видел. И я видел, что там что-то написано, но я не видел, что на нем написано. Я просто знал, что там какая-то надпись. And I will be telling the ushers and that why should they put on the the what this crane with words when there is nothing there to read, you know? <laughs> so my wife would tell me, "You mean you don't see that?" I said, "No." He said, "Go for checkup." And and uh, you know, I would say, "No, I think that thing is faulty." <laughs> И иногда я сидел здесь впереди, рядом с моей женой, и смотрю на экране, там повесили какой-то текст, но вообще ничего не видно. Я говорю моей жене, послушай, что они там повесили, все равно ведь ничего не видно. Она говорит, а ты не видишь, да? Ну тебе надо зрение проверить. There were four other people with me, my wife and three other people in the same car. So I quickly told other people, now I knew this is serious. So somebody, it was not my wife who read it, another person read it. And I said, Princess, is that true? Is there anything written on that? She said, yes. She, said, she read it as well. She, and then I said, you mean you are reading anything? I did, it was just blank to me. Then I asked the third person, I said, can you try to read? Is there anything written there? He read the same words. I said, wow. I called the driver. Please, you, you can you see anything there? He said, "Of course, that's what is written." I said, "Yeah, princess, high time to listen to your wife." И вот однажды мы ехали, ну, в принципе, вот здесь в зале с этим экраном, ну, я думал, там, наверное, что-то с резкостью не так, поэтому, как бы, со мной все нормально. Однажды мы ехали в машине, и там была, кроме меня, моя жена и еще три человека. Мы ехали мимо этого мормонского храма, и моя жена прочитала надпись там. Я так удивился, о, ты видишь, что там написано? Ну, может быть, у тебя слишком хорошее зрение. Потом попросил другого человека, и каждый человек в машине, они свободно прочитали эту надпись на храме. Я потом попросил водителя, говорю, а ты можешь прочитать? Он говорит, конечно, могу. Вот что там написано. И тогда я понял, что моя жена была права. Надо идти к врачу и проверять зрение. Наконец-то я послушался свою жену. Good instruction, good, good lesson. Хороший был совет. Husband, listen to your wife. Мужья, слушайте своих жен. Anyway, of course, so we got some doctors from the church. 
That is a woman's amen. Такой женский аминь в зале послышался. Sisters, amen. Anyway, you know, of course, you know, this was now serious. So, I, you know, I began to cross-check from other angles, and I saw, I realized I was not saying what other people were saying. So I decided to see a doctor. So thank God for uh, some people in the church. They took me for for a checkup. Я обнаружил, что действительно у меня очень сильно упало зрение. Это уже серьезно, я не шучу. То есть я не видел многих вещей, которые видели другие люди. И я решил все-таки пойти и проверить зрение. Слава Богу за некоторых членов церкви, которые нашли для меня клинику. So when we got there, the, you know, the doctor that took me there is from the church, and she was trying to introduce me to the doctor that was there. But I said, I know this doctor. I didn't know the doctor that was there had given her life here. I mean, she's not coming to this church anymore. But she had given her life. But, and I don't forget people. I said, I know. So she said, oh, yeah. I, I will give my life in your church. So they gave me very good service. But what surprised them was, when they, after they, they, they examined me, you will not believe this now. Listen closely. They said I was uh, medically blind or, in one eye. And the other eye, I had lost 60%. И мы пошли в эту клинику, и сестра, которая привела меня туда, она представила меня доктору, но я, эта сестра из церкви, и доктор, она тоже была из церкви, они покаялись в нашей церкви, поэтому они очень хорошо нас встретили, но когда они проверили мое зрение, оказалось, что я по медицинским меркам на один глаз вообще не видел, а на второй глаз я потерял 60% зрения. That right hand, where they said I was medical, medically blind, I could, I had lost 85% of, and when you lose so much, you are already regarded as medically blind in that right eye. In so I, I, it was cool, it could see 15%, but you know, 85% is too, is a lot. И на правый глаз я потерял вообще 85% зрения. То есть я видел всего лишь 15%, но по медицинским меркам это уже считается, что на этот глаз ты ослеп просто. Because they tried, you know, I stood there, They tried this doctor, they tried that. They put all uh, lenses or lenses that they had and none of them went, you know, no, no, no improvement. And this one, they said it was not bad. It has lost 60%, but I could still see 40%. И они пробовали различные линзы на этот мой правый глаз, но я все равно не мог до него видеть. То есть уже настолько потерял зрение, so, что никакие линзы не помогали. So what was surprising to them was that How could you still function? You know, and you all know I keep on functioning. I, I didn't know how many years. But I said, how long has this been happening? I said, I don't know. So the question was, how could you keep on functioning? It was a friend of mine, uh, Professor Vincent from Africa, when I told him the story, that told me, Big Pastor, because you are so much a man of vision, because you are driven by the inner pictures and inner reality that you don't even notice you are blind. You know, because you are functioning by what you see from inside. You are, you are a driven man. So maybe that's why you didn't notice. And nobody in the church would think I was blind because I was re remembering things and recognizing things better than them, you see. И врачи были абсолютно в шоке. Единственный вопрос, который они мне задали, это, пастор, как вы вообще до сих пор можете жить и работать? А я продолжал работать, потому что я настолько был движен целью. И мои друзья, например, профессор Винсент, когда я рассказал ему об этом, он сказал мне, пастор, вы настолько движимы целью, вы движимы вашим, вашим видением, что вы даже не обращаете внимания на то, что вы уже почти потеряли зрение. Потому что и члены церкви, они тоже не обращали на это внимания, потому что, несмотря на мое плохое зрение, я видел и запоминал вещи намного лучше, чем многие из них. Now I see the sister there. Is that the doctor there I'm seeing? Now I can see you just for you to as a testimony. What's her name? Galina? Tatiana Constantinovna. You know the one? I, I couldn't see from here to here. And now I'm seeing her. Stand up in the hall. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You see, I could recognize her from there. You see something that's happened? Something that's happened. Is that the proof? That is the proof that something has happened between then and now. Вот это доказательство, что что-то произошло между тем временем, о котором я рассказал, и сейчас. Because I couldn't see from here to here. Я не мог видеть из первого ряда на этот большой экран. And now I could see her there. А сейчас я узнал ее лицо аж там. So anyway, they recommended me to go for.
So they recommended me to, you know, go for, to a special hospital for surgery. И врачи, они сказали, что, что только операция может мне помочь, и нужно срочно сделать операцию в специальной больнице. I was always going to the bush to get firewood and to go to school and all that. So all kind of trees and drugs were falling in my eyes. I'm even surprised I still have those eyes up till now. <laughs> of course, they couldn't understand what. Well, anyway, yeah, go ahead. Uh, и врачи, они были в шоке, как я мог до сих пор вообще uh, действовать. И они сказали, что мне нужно сделать операцию в специальной больнице. И они были в шоке от того, что uh, вообще-то диагноз мой – это катаракта. Но это очень такая болезнь немолодая. Обычно катаракта встречается у людей после 60, где-то вот 70 до 80 лет. И они впервые в жизни увидели человека, которому 40 лет, и у которого катаракта, который практически ослеп на один глаз. Ну, я им объяснил, что когда я был маленьким, я ходил в лес, в джунгли для того, чтобы собирать дрова, и там в глаза мне попадали всякие-всякие там ссор, поэтому, слава Богу, что вообще глаза сохранил. So, anyway, и я пошел на операцию. And, uh, they said it Они сказали, хорошо прошла операция, успешно. Сказали, я должен прийти снова для того, чтобы провериться. И они мне дали один, один месяц, через два, через три месяца прийти. Сказали, операция успешна, но почему-то не наблюдается улучшений. Я видел так, как я видел и раньше до этого, до операции. Они сказали, ну, не знаю, но иногда так происходит, давайте мы еще одну операцию сделаем. Они еще одну операцию сделали. И знаете, эта операция, это не просто где-то на щеке там у вас операция, это внутри, в самом глазу, они просто открывают глаз и внутри глаза режут. То есть это не что-то такое особо приятное, это очень серьезная вторая операция. So they did the second operation, они сделали вторую операцию. And they said it was supposed to be good. И сказали, ну теперь точно все будет хорошо. They said you are supposed to see at least 60 or 70 percent. Сказали, вы должны видеть теперь где-то хотя бы 60 или 70 процентов. But I was, I did it, but uh, I, the thing was still there. I was saying, my God. <laughs> Now, well, we'll see what God will do. Даже после второй операции, к сожалению, мое зрение не намного улучшилось. Они сказали, ну, приедете снова на проверку. Совсем недавно, это было на прошлой неделе, я ездил туда. Виктор переводил для пастора Кумуи. И я почувствовал, что мне нужно ему помочь, я взял микрофон. And uh, so I began to interpret. И я начал переводить. And as I was doing my job, pastor began to, and I knew him. И... So it was, people who don't know him, I think it was just, you know, you know, guys saying some of the things he was saying, but I knew that was the word of knowledge. И когда я переводил, пастор начал давал, давать слово знание. И, ну, я точно, я хорошо его знаю. Я знаю, что это было слово знание. But while he was there standing, he mentioned my case. Когда он здесь стоял, я его переводил, он упомянул о моей проблеме. Я не знаю, помните ли вы, но он назвал катаракту. И потом он еще сказал, что вы, вам уже сделали операцию. You know, it's the case like they were telling Jesus, you doctor, heal yourself. <laughs> you know, that's why it's embarrassing. That's why I said, for me as a pastor, you might not believe it because you are coming here. You think God is healing you all through pastor. But you will not believe the testimony. But also, God needed other people that he will also use to heal you. 
Знаете, поэтому я и сказал в самом начале, что, наверное, это такая немножко свидетельство неудобное, да? Вы не ожидаете услышать такое свидетельство от пастора, потому что вы все приходите и ожидаете, что Бог вас исцелит через пастора. Но давайте не забывать, что пастор такой же самый человек, и видите, Бог тоже использует других служителей, professor, чтобы исцелить пастора. Пастор Пегги, пастор Пегги, you come. I'm professor. You are riding with me in the car. Yeah, you two come now. They will now complete the story. И сейчас мы попросим профессора с супругой завершить историю. Because I was riding with them from my house. Потому что они сегодня они ехали со мной из дома. The next day. На следующий же день после проповеди мы ехали из дома вместе. That still that same day I still look into that and I didn't say anything. В тот же день в день проповеди я смотрел на эту табличку на храме мормонском и не видел ничего. But after that prayer. Но после той молитвы morning, я проснулся ран, рано утром praying, и я ходил и молился. House, и потом я заметил, что ворота у нашего дома я обратил внимание, что на воротах нашего дома есть определенная такая резьба беленькая. Я думаю, о, никогда не видел раньше, интересно. So that was what pushed me to now try to challenge that Mormon's temple inscription. И это натолкнуло меня на мысль посмотреть еще раз на эту табличку. That could it be? Может быть, а вдруг? They know what happened next. Я не знаю, что произошло дальше. So as we were coming to church, um, we drove by, we didn't know this Mormon temple story. So as we drove by, pastor screamed and <laughs> fell on Pastor Bosse. And said, I can see, I can see, I can see. And we ехали. Мы ехали в машине с пастором и пастором Босси и проезжали этот мормонский храм, а я же не знала историю. И тут вдруг неожиданно пастор как закричит и падает на пастора Босси и кричит, я могу видеть, я вижу, я вижу. And then we asked why. Then he told the story. И мы спросили, ну так а в чем дело? И тогда он рассказал нам историю. So we were all excited, and my husband said, maybe you'll be the first to testify when we come to church. И тогда пастор поделился с нами свидетельством, и профессор говорит, ну наверное ты будешь самым первым свидетельствовать. And even this morning, as we were coming. А сегодня утром, когда мы проезжали тот же самый мормонский храм, we мы обсуждали, as as temple, но когда мы уже приблизились к этому мормонскому храму, again, пастор снова посмотрел туда, sure чтобы убедиться, что это точно так. И он сказал, я точно могу видеть. Yes, uh, actually, when Pastor shared this with me, that was in, actually, was it in July last year when I first came? And then it dawned on me that he's such a, an inner-focused man, you know, a man that's pursuing vision. And when you do that, you tend to lose, you know, a sense of your surrounding because you're so future-driven That's why it's possible for him to lose 80-85% of his sight. He didn't realize it because the inner drive is so strong. И когда я впервые встретился с пастором, первое, что мне в глаза бросилось, это то, что он настолько сфокусирован на свое видение, он просто движим видением. И для таких людей, в принципе, можно понять, как он может потерять 85% зрения и даже этого не заметить, потому что он живет видением. And also, that's what I love about him, because whenever we are together, we are discussing 10-15 20 years down in history we are really discussing about things of today 
И то, что я обожаю о вашем пасторе, это, знаете, когда мы с ним встречаемся, мы практически никогда не говорим о сегодняшнем дне. Мы всегда обсуждаем планы на 15-20 лет вперед. So, Pastor Sunday, we're not only excited that you can see in the future, but we're not happy you can see today. God bless you. Pastor Sunday, мы так счастливы, что теперь вы можете не только видеть будущее, но теперь вы также можете видеть настоящее. Rejoice with me, and of course, порадуйтесь вместе со мной. The reason I'm sharing this. And of course, the reason I'm sharing this is because tonight, in one hour's time, six thirty, Pastor Kumu is going to minister. After you know, you know, to, uh, we are going to have the privilege and the honor of being under his ministration again. Знаете, почему я поделился этим свидетельством? Чтобы возгреть вашу веру, потому что через час Пастор Кумуи, на служении которого Бог исцелил меня, он будет здесь проповедовать. So get ready. Поэтому приготовьтесь. Ожидайте, придите с ожиданием. Ожидание — это все. That is the atmosphere for miracles. Ожидание — это хорошая атмосфера для чудес. May the Lord bless you. Пусть Господь благословит вас. Thank you, sir. Спасибо. So, Embassy of God, help me to welcome Поэтому, церковь, посольство Божье, пожалуйста. the man of God from Nigeria, from the world. Помогите мне поприветствовать самым горячим образом проповедника мирового уровня, тот пастора Кумуи. Станьте на ноги. Praise the Lord. Дайте Богу славу. It's been a wonderful time as we have been here. Да, какое это потрясающее время. Здесь у нас. Пускай громче его сделают. Сделайте его громче. Coming here tonight. И здесь сегодня. And seeing everything that we saw. И наблюдая за всеми то, что мы видим. За and all the various teams that have been coming since the first day. все презентации, которые мы видим с четверга. And the various ministries and the NGOs. If see any organization. The Lord Jesus Christ said. We say that Jesus said. By their works, he shall know them. Pladami ich uznaut, uznaite ich. Not by the news we hear outside. Ni sheres luhi katore me slishi. Not by the slanders of people. Ni sheres not by the comments of people that have never seen what is done. By their works they shall know them. And with everything we have heard and seen, I've been to different parts of the world. Many countries in the world I have gone. What I have seen this weekend here. I've not seen the like in any country I have been in the world. It was Nicodemus that said to Jesus, No man can do these miracles. Except God be with him. I want to declare to you, no man can do this that we hear here. Except God dwell in that man. I want to affirm I want to confirm. I want to say it for everybody to hear. That this is a man sent from God. And God has sent him. 
И Бог с небесный. Not only to Ukraine. Послал его не только для Украины. Not only to Europe. Не только для Европы Бог его послал. sent him to the world for an assignment. Этот человек послан небом для всего мира, чтобы совершить особенное призвание. In the days and the years ahead. И я вам скажу, через несколько лет. You are going to see a blossoming and expansion of what God has raised this man of God for. Вы увидите нам много and I want to say that we pledge the prayer support. Yeah, And any other kind of support that he needs. With all the millions of people that I know. We're standing by you. God is standing by you. The vision will have a fulfillment. If they is born, it's for your prisoners' nation. And Pastor Bosse. He Pastor Bosse. People will not understand. Monye beludi ni paimut. That Sunday in our language actually means Bosse. Ah, yeah. And we monye be ni parimaite. No, Bosse. Nash na nashem yazeke abas nashai Sunday. When you say Pastor Sunday, they were here for the. When you say Pastor Sunday, <laughs> and you say Pastor Bosse, <laughs> you're saying the same thing in another language. <laughs> the same spirit in Pastor Sunday. The same vision in Pastor Sunday. The same unction in Pastor Sunday. And the same God that he dwells Pastor Sunday. The same spirit. The same power. The same God dwells in Pastor Bosse. And we pledge our support for the family. You will see what you've never seen. You go places you've never gone. As we look at what has been done, we think this is much. We say much more is about the Lord, Lord, we that you come from Lord in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm not going to do much preaching. Tonight is a night of manifestation. This is my first time here. And so you may not be very familiar with me. And the way God helps me to minister. I don't jump. I don't run. Because when you deal with a problem that has been conquered already, a problem that is solved already, all I, to, all, I, all I need to do is to announce to you that it's done. done. And I'll be to many countries. I will not be able to mention to you. Oh, Boje, tell us Because we're recording in a particular country. The, uh, somebody there, a government official, was put in the prison. In the prison, he became sick. He needed an operation. He was to perform, he was to perform that operation he on a Tuesday. He had, he had two problems. Number one, a prisoner. A political prisoner. Number two, a sickness that needed operation. 
And one of his students of many years past knew about this politician in the hospital. They, caught, they carried him from the prison to the hospital. He was to spend 10 years in the prison. And it was all a lie. No, he had not done anything but by lie and slander. No, he's a slew of he was put in the prison. And then I was called in on Monday. As I got into the room, I saw him lying on the bed. His wife was there. And you could see dejection in the family. And so I asked, what was the problem? They told me about the two problems. Two minutes we finished the prayers. I was then going out of that room. That's the hospital room. I got to the door wanting to open the door. God spoke to me. And then I came back. I said, sir, how many years are you supposed to spend in the prison? He said, 10 years. So I said, the Lord said to tell you that this month you are coming out of the prison. You don't tell a politician that if you are not sure God told you what he told you. Et age politique 11 night vo vragov so et ani vas moj dan rian na vapshe so yes ya et as kazal i left the hospital no paveri ni paveri ya de sa ya usho the following day on tuesday na vtornik they wheeled him to the theater. And he evolved theater now Wanted to do the operation. And he tell you that. And then as they examined him, no, Kagda, and he was perfectly, completely, hundred percent. Nothing to operate. That was number one miracle. Number two. No, uh, that very week, they announced nationally over the radio. Ten years imprisonment canceled. In that country. After I came out of the prison, he became the first chairman of the ruling party of that country. And any time I get to that country, they treat me like, you know, I'm the kingmaker. That's why I said tonight, we're talking about manifestation. Is manifestation through kingdom authority. We've been talking about the influence of the kingdom of God on society. Now when you think about society, about society I told you yesterday that society originally was just the composite of men and women. Later, men, women, and children. As you come to the New Testament, society became nations. Became cities. Became villages. And you have all of them together. If today society has changed. It's not just city. Nations. Or village. If you spell that word society. S, there are statesmen. We're talking about society, the society of statesmen. The society of secularism. As you look at Europe, 
Europe that you have secular minded people. And as you are thinking about this section of society and that section, you seek about the secular minded people. That's the society you have, what we call outcasts. Those are the oppressed people. Whether you call them outcasts. Oppressed people, oppressed people, I know, at version, or women who are kind of battered in their families. Or you're talking they, about orphans. It's another section of society that we need to develop strategy to know how do we reach there. Now, there is a of children. Yes, that when you think about children from the age of zero to the age of twelve, it's a society by itself alone. And you want to know how to reach those children. In some countries, the percentage of children will be about thirty percent. Some countries even have up to 40% children. And if you, when you pick up uh, the population of a particular country, if you read all the information about the country, you'll see from 0 to 15, from, from 15 to 65, and then 65 upwards. And the statistics will tell you what percentage of this and this and this you have. And you think in that way, think about society. There's also a search of cultures. From situation to situation, culture to culture, things change. That's why the method that is working in this culture may not work in that culture. Culture defines society by itself. So as we're thinking about influencing society for the gospel, we're thinking about society as culture. The letter I is telling you about the world of industry. Industrialized countries are very different from uh, what they were many years ago. And if we don't take that into consideration, we'll think that we're reaching this and reaching this and reaching that. But how about the industrialized nations? The next letter is E. Have you thought about the entertainment world? Yes, No, You know, sometimes when a pastor stands before you and he's preaching, that's a level, that's a kind of communication of the gospel. The entertainment world. No, guess the people who are very deep into entertainment. Music, And you're talking about millions and millions of people all over the world. Proper was there is a kind of approach that is going to reach them as well. Now, there, there's a world of technology. And then we have societies of traumatized people. And except we look at society, with all these categories, you just be throwing a general net out that catches nobody. And why is the youthful society? 
The kind of music young people love. Oh, the kind of interaction, the kind of way they live. Their outlook and mindset. Their world view and self-esteem. The things that turn on the youthful generation. That's why if you find in UK, for example, the church membership is dying out. You have some churches in the UK and some churches also in Europe that the youngest person in that church will be about 60 years of age. We do not know how to connect with the society of the young people. So as we're talking about the influence of the gospel, the influence of the kingdom of God on society, we look at all those various areas. And tonight, we see, we we'll talk briefly about the authority of of the kingdom. Ah, vlast to sas fabojeva. Authority is an interesting word. Vlast, eta interest no es lova. It's not exactly the same as power. Eta atlisha is out sile. Power is strength. Za sila da posim. Eta snaje. Power is might. Eta snaje sila. Power is ability. Eta spasobnost. Authority is different. No vlast, eta shush atlisha is. For example, da posim. If I need to carry this by myself, I need power. I need strength. I need some kind of ability to be able to carry this. Authority is different. Authority is delegated power. If I have authority to remove this, I don't use power I might be weak. I might even be kind of sick. I might be standing up. I may be sitting down. I may be even lying on the ground. But I have authority. A father has authority over the son. A policeman has authority over a criminal. The government has authority over the citizens. The president of a country has authority over the subject. President Imet Vlast Natsuimi Grash Daname. A man of authority can call the person he has authority over. Mojit Pazdazva Sheloveka Nat Kapkem Univo after it no Vlast. If you want to manifest power, no, yes, they make a team prayer Vlast. Sometimes you have to shout. In a Granada Milash Krishat. Sometimes you have to stand up. In a Granada Milash Tayat. Sometimes you need to bend down. In a Granada Milash Podima. If you are going to manifest power, yes, it be another private seal. Must have a good, strong backbone. Nada I met a Russian crab cast bina. If you are going to manifest authority, no, yes, the last that are permanent. You can just stand up. The process to each, you sit down, you sit each, or be lying on the ground. You don't have to shout. You don't have to shout. You call the man you have authority over. The process to carry, hey, party, and say carry that. That's authority. That's the kind of authority Jesus has. When he sees blind eyes, his authority, blind eyes be open. When he sees a lame man, there's no part of this authority because that authority has been given to him from heaven. He says, Leman, rise up. Stand Ihadi. Now that authority is kingdom authority. What yes, Vlast. What eta Vlast? That authority has not been transferred and given to the ministers of God. Vlast sarsva. He etas Vlast privileged nam sishas. And tonight is the manifestation of that authority. Is sivunia veshram yakashush to be praya vilas eta Vlast. In the many places I have gone, I have seen 
literally all the miracles we read about in the Bible. And I've seen many, many people healed. From officials to lecturers, professors, universities. To medical doctors. To people in America. And to people Literally everywhere. Europe, Israel, and it is because of the delegated authority the Lord has given. If you look at Luke chapter 9, and you look at verse 1, it says, Then he called his 12 disciples together. And he gave them power and authority. He dealt in last. Over all devils. Not seeking best, best and to kill diseases. There are three things I'm going to look at very quickly. Three things now. Understand authority has been given. It's given to every believer. Authority is given to you. Authority is given to Pastor Sunday. Authority is given to me. And that authority makes you to be able to manifest something. You didn't know you could heal the sick, but you can. You didn't know you could cast out devils, but you can. Because when you have authority, how does authority manifest itself? Three things we're going to look at. Number one, the means of kingdom authority. The mode by which it works. The method by which it is demonstrated. The means of kingdom authority. Number two. The mantle of Christ of kingdom authority. It's a kind of mantle. That, that you will know, you recognize. That every body around will recognize. That Satan will recognize. The mantle of kingdom authority. That authority. Number three, number three will be the ministers that have Christian or kingdom authority. No, authority is Number one, the means of kingdom authority. If we look at Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, reading from verse 5, and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, he saw a man with an And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, that came unto him a centurion. He said, no, no, pre-shock, beseeching, pleading, praying with him. And saying, Lord, my servant is sick at home. Sick of the palsy and grievously tormented. This was a situation where somebody was sick. I want you all to understand this story. The sick man was at home. And Jesus Christ was on this side. And the centurion came to Jesus Christ without bringing the sick man. So there was no physical contact between Jesus Christ and the sick man. You want to understand? Authority manifests itself without necessarily having the physical contact. You think of a policeman. He's wearing his uniform. And then there is a big glory coming. And the policeman wants to stop that glory. There's no physical contact between the policeman and the lorry. Between the policeman and the driver. And the policeman will stand here. And raise up his hand. For the man for you, Ruku. And look at the man. He 
ils se montrent à nouveau. On prend, on a dit, mon Dieu, c'est un pour la rogue. This man, are you not afraid? Je suis un homme qui est un homme. La glory is big. Il y a cette bâche à la machine. On rend you over. On est à nouveau dans le lieu. And you are in the middle of the road. On est juste pour la rogue, c'est un homme. Il dit, I have the uniform that comes. Verms that confers authority on me. And he does not need a physical touch with that glory. Just like that, that glory will have to stop. So the first thing you learn about the manifestation of kingdom authority is the glory of God. About the manifestation of kingdom authority is that I don't have to come and touch you. I don't need to come and shake you. I don't need to come and lay hands on you. Laying hands is good. It has its place. We are talking about the manifestation of authority. There was a, there was a medical doctor in one country. His problem was alcohol. He would have become a medical director in that country. But because of the problem of alcoholism, he couldn't have promotion. He was almost losing his job. And then I went to that country. And the wife came to me pleading and crying. Said, my husband has a problem. It's alcohol. He, he wakes up in the morning. Going to the place of work, Sutra. before he gets there, he, the he branches at the bar is drunk. I said, let him come. And, and then, then he was brought. By the time he came in front of me, you could perceive the odor of alcohol. He was, he was drunk. And, and then I said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that alcoholism. You are free. I didn't, have, I didn't have to touch you. Because I was not manifesting power. I was manifesting what? Authority. And then I said, you can go. And then he went. He tried to drink. After that, he couldn't drink. Coming near any bar, it will look as if he was going to vomit. I'm saying tonight, whatever problem you have, he is Yes. I will speak the word of authority. Yes, and all those problems Vlasti. are over. Jesus, Jesus said in verse 7, I will come and heal him. The Bible Jesus said, no, don't come. If Jesus said, he will come to your house and heal your servant. Say, come, come. I want you to come to my house. He said, go, the centurion said, no. no I am not worthy that that should have come under my roof. He said, speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. That man understood authority. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. Then he explained why he said that. Look at verse 9. For I am a man under authority. Having soldiers under me. And I say to this man. Go. And he goes. I say to another. Come. And he comes. And to my servant. Do this. And he does it. What the centurion was saying is. Centurion. Centurion. Saint. Centurion. That means I'm a captain over 100 soldiers. Yeah. 
Nashanik not store Shelovek. Some of those soldiers are taller than me. Nekaturi is eighty soldat of any crab. Some of those soldiers are bigger than me. And in Nekaturi both shemeya. But my position no sort nek eta ruka wadi the army. As a captain over there, army not store Shelovek. I say to this one go. I don't hold his hand. Yatolka gavaru him slower. And take him there. Vlast you. I make him to move by my word. I say to that one, come. I don't go there to hold him and bring him. I set him in motion by my word. And I tell the other man, do this. And he does it. He says, like I control soldiers. By so the word it. of my mouth, you control sickness by the word hey, of your mouth. Bo, you control situation. Satan by the word of your Satan mouth. You control spirits by the word of your but mouth. You control mountains by the word of your that mouth. You control the sea by the word of your mouth. That is authority. You don't go there to hold them. Leave them up. Push them. Or go and take them and take them there. Stand where you are. Stand where you are. Everybody? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm saying the okay. problem. Let, let the sick man stand where he is. Stand. And then we stand here. And I point at you over there. And I say, evil spirit, go. And yes, it's gone. Yes, I was in a particular city. They brought this uh, man that had mental problems. They changed the hand with chain. And they put padlock. They changed the leg. Because the man was violent. That's how they carried him to the meeting. He previously, he and then I told them, I said, now it's time for manifestation. Like tonight, manifestation. I, I said, like tonight, manifestation. And then I prayed. I commanded that evil spirit, I said, go away. Immediately, immediately sanity came. He show me two my says on start trace him two che. We remove the chain. Yeah, and he's and he rasp the hand. And in the hand. Rasp the zale. He will look in on him out. He will previously totally free. I mean, he will probably period. And the same thing. He on build bonuses that are even physical problems. You buy a problem. Where the student that came from University of Lagos. That was the Lagos. They build a din student. She had one foot shorter than the other by three inches. Eta de woshka no na three. No, that's coca at a meter of no the centimeter a meter of and she was wearing special shoe. Special shoe in that one leg. And she was in the, in the audience. And all I did was to say, in the name of Jesus, short leg, grow out. Instantaneously. That short leg grew out to be equal to the other. And then she came up bringing the shoe. The special shoe she was wearing. And so this man said, I understand authority. And Jesus said, Let it be unto you according to your faith. Authority is manifested through the world. That's why Joshua said, Son, stand still. Joshua, Joshua did not have to go to the sun to hold it. Jesus And that is why uh, Elijah <laughs> said. There will be no dew, there will be no rain according to my word. That's authority. Number two. The mantle of kingdom authority. The mantle of kingdom authority. Now, about the mantle. You think about Elijah? You think about Elisha? 
And the first time Elijah went to Elisha. Elijah was Elisha was doing his normal business in the farm. And then Elijah came. Elijah did not speak any words. Elijah took his mantle and threw it over him. Many times we miss what God is trying to say. Elijah did not speak to Elisha. Elijah did not prophesy. He did not say, you're going to have the mantle. You're not going to be a great man. What God told Elijah about Elisha, Elijah never opened his mouth to tell Elisha. And so he threw the mantle on him. But Elisha got the message. Elisha said, I will follow you. He said, Bye bye to my parents. And he came and he followed. And when he was following, Elisha did not perform any miracle. He just pour water on the hand of Elijah. No, and remember that the mantle had been thrown upon him. No. The mantle had been thrown upon him. No. He kept on pouring water and pouring water. On the final day, that Elijah, Elijah was to go away. He no. He said, Elisha, Elijah was to go away. No. He said, Elijah was to go away. Elijah was following. He said, this mantle I will have. If you, are here, if you are there today, if you are ordained and anointed in the afternoon, you become a full time pastor, a full time minister. Be very observant. Because tonight will be the confirmation of the anointing and the mantle upon your life. If you are not observant, no, yes, even you will see, okay, that's a, that's a night service or some finish and then go back home. But tonight is the night of the mantle. It will be until you are according to your faith. Be very observant. It will be until you are according to your faith. It will be until you are according to your faith. It will be until you are according to your faith. It will be until you are according to your faith. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me. What I will do for you before I go away. Let's say, for example, now, I tell Pastor Sunday. I say, Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday. Thank you for inviting me. Ask me. What you want me to do for so you she before, she you before I go away? If Pastor Sunday is humble, yes, if Pastor Sunday is merry only, doesn't want to be proud. Only because she be God him. If Pastor Sunday is uh, kind of meek, yes, if Pastor Sunday crotchy. Oh, Pastor Sunday might say, Oh, my father in the Lord. No more attest, boy. I I want to be humble. All I want is a fraction of what you have. And you know how humble we are. Many of us are very, very humble. God is saying, what do you want? Oh Lord, you give me salvation. Whatever is you give me, I will, I'll be all right. I don't want to be proud. You know, sometimes you have to know what it means to be proud and what it means yeah. to actually be what God wants for you. God I believe Pastor Sunday understands humility. But he knows humility. when it comes to anointing. He wants a double anointing. Oh. Praise the Lord. Somebody somewhere here tonight. I told you that I've seen many miracles. And I'm saying 
anointing a mantle waiting for you. God's for that Simone has shown Bogoche of the bad man. What kind of anointing do you want? Shote hoshe kako e baba sana te hoshe. Shote jela e shimet. Are you asking for a fraction? Monye bite oshe shushu. Are you asking for a little bit? Monye bite oshe nem noga. Are you asking for just something small? Monye bite oka nem noga process. Or are you going to get a little portion? Shote yes, shote yes. And so Elisha. He pay that money to say, give me a double portion. Now, since we began, we have we have been to sixty countries. We have been to sixty countries. If I ask Pastor Sunday, yes, yes, for sure, Pastor Sunday. I said, you know, these few years. These few years, yes, we've sir. been to 60 countries. Pastor Sunday, what's your vision? Here Pastor is your Sunday. father saying, whatever you want, I'm going to ask um, from the Lord do on do your do behalf. Do you see this in your vision? Yes, 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 do you see this at least for you. Yes, sir. You want twenty. <laughs> At least one twenty. At least one twenty. The same thing for all of us who are there. You know, you know what I've learned. You know what I've learned. My father who sent me to school. My, my papa, no, he can't down past me of school. On whose money I studied. Yeah, who she was as I was shot. I became more educated than my father. Yeah, stal bully grandma, the shame at at sa. You know what I've learned? Then show your poem. The teacher that taught me mathematics. That's a boy who she tell mathematics. Eventually. I had more knowledge in maths than my teacher. Why don't you put that in the spiritual? That the person who taught you Elijah who taught Elisha. That Elisha said, "This man can go beyond the teacher. The child can go beyond the father. Elisha can go beyond Elijah. Because of that, Elisha said, "He is a double portion of the and then the chariot came. I took him away. Remember. That mantle had been with Elijah. Since he met Elisha. He was only holding it and keeping it for him. As he was going to heaven. They don't need that mantle in heaven. They don't seek in heaven. They don't cast out devils in heaven. He said, Elisha, I am going. The mantle is here. He dropped it down. Elisha knew that mantle was for him. Do you know that mantle is for you? Do you know there is something here tonight that is yours? Yes, I know. Yes. Do you know the power to perform miracles? The authority to heal the sick. Vlast is the The authority to cast out devils. Vlast is going to The authority to do great wonders. Vlast to reach the sky. Do you know it is yours tonight? And not for your Simonia. Elisha picked it up. He listened for the quartil. He went back to River Jordan. He on pasol go reke yo danska. Listen to this. Listen to the manifestation of the mantle. It was not one week after. One month after. That same day. When the mantle fell. National post was last. Elisha put it to test. God by River Jordan. And he said, where is the where is the God of Elijah? Can I tell you something? River Jordan parted into two. What do I see there? Show you time of video. The last miracle of Elijah was the first miracle of Elisha. 
Pasle ne same vesoke urovne shuda ilia stalat sivoli na shame stupenu ilisea shuda. The last miracle of Elijah. Tam deza konshil ilia. Parting that Jordan. Eta tam nashinai sa ilisea shuda. Was the first miracle of Elijah. The highest. The greatest. The climax. So email of the miracle life of Elijah. Ilia was the beginning of the miracle life of Elijah. You don't have to go back and start where we began. Your ministry can begin now. The power can begin now. Your authority can begin now. Where we have reached. That miracle ministry can begin right there. Number three. The, the ministers with kingdom authority. Ministers with kingdom authority. Who are the ministers? Now, we are the ministers today. The men and the women that God has called. Moses manifested that authority. When Moses was in Egypt. Egypt. He was a criminal. On bill slash a bandit. He was a murderer. On bill that you could have had the obvious he had done. That's why he ran away. And then the Lord met him where he was. And he said, go back to that same place. Since two, three days that we began here, I've seen drug addicts. I've seen criminals. I've seen those who have gone to the prison. I've seen those who are very much in the gutter. And that's what, what they were before the Lord met them. Now the Lord cleaned them up. Filled them with the Holy Ghost. Filled them with power. When Moses came back, he didn't come back as a criminal. He came back as a man, a man, man with a mantle. And he stood before Pharaoh. He said, let my people go. All those people that were criminals before. If all the people that were drunk has before. Something new has happened. You go back to those same places. To manifest the power of the Holy Ghost. To manifest kingdom authority. I am, I am no more what I used to be. I am no more what I used to be. I am no more as weak as I used to be. Something new has happened in my life. And I about Joshua. I about Joshua. Do you know that Joshua was a disciple of Moses? Well, to start with, Moses divided the Red Sea. And Joshua divided the River Jordan. The disciple will be like his master. Just uh, like Pastor Sunday will be like his father in the Lord. And just Bo like you will, will be, you will be like Pastor Sunday too. Like Pastor Sunday and and then now, like this man Joshua, he now went beyond Moses. You know, sometimes I have a problem with people. Is that a nagda? Every time, Ludi. they'll be quoting people so and so he was the one that led me to the Lord 20 years ago this is what he did and once they get to the level of what that man of God did they seal it, they seal it up but Joshua, Joshua following after Moses he got to the level Moses got to and now he went beyond Moses Moses never got anybody around the walls of any city that was a step ahead of Moses by Joshua. Joshua stopped the sun. Moses never stopped the sun. Moses never stopped the moon. I have the sun will go beyond the Father. 
I'm saying the student will go beyond the, the teacher. I'm saying the member will go beyond the minister. And I'm saying that you will go beyond where we have gone. Because because this is your day. I said this is your day. This is your day. This is your day. And then we're thinking about David, the man of authority. We're talking about David. And then David had this problem. It was a national problem. Look at Goliath. And look at his stature. Do you understand? This was not the first time that Israelites saw a giant. In fact, it was giant that stopped Israel from going to the land of Canaan. We saw the giants in the land. We are not able to enter. The giant stopped a whole nation. From entering into the land of Canaan. And here comes little David. And David saw the same giant that they saw. What stopped a whole nation from moving forward? Could not stop David. Yes, it was a to David. No, only monk David, David was, David. A prof, a, a, was a product of the nation. David on set And yet, what stopped the nation could not, not stop one son in the nation. Now, you understand. Before the, David came on the scene. The this was not the first time they'll fight battle. Do David and his Rajal is ranch. They use spear. And he spoke well as Israel. They use many weapons. And he spoke well as Yaki Aruj. David, the new generation. David only is not going to be not doing everything the way we're doing it. Slush at a Nico Piru, it's in us, Vapsum. I don't have a spear. You know, a rod. I don't have a rod. And if I don't have the rod of Moses, what can I do? Samson used the jawbone of an ass. I don't have a jawbone of an ass. David and Nebula, Ruja, Saula. And they did it this way, they did it this way. I don't have what they are. Yes, they will be a net or toast to me, may I have a trash? Is a sling as a stone. Never just so to be a yes, but at the book, but it is possible. It says, It David's cousin is not the rod. At the name, it's not even the stone. At the name, it's the name of the Lord. At the name of God, 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 at the and so he said, I come unto you. In the name of the God of Israel. Who you have defied. And then he threw the stone. And he brought the giant down. You will bring the giant down. You will bring the giant down. You will bring the giant down. The giants that made the nation afraid. That nobody Saul, Saul had the position. David had the authority. No, David Saul had the title. David had the authority. No, David Maybe the other people outside there. Because sometimes people ask me. They said, uh, what's your title? And they want to say, I am Archbishop Kumui. And when I say, Archbishop Kumui. Just Pastor Kumui. Yeah, yes, he was Pastor Kumui. They said that's all the title you have. I say it's not about title; yeah, it's about authority. And you want to realize tonight? It's not about position. It's not about title. It's about authority. No, yes, it's about authority. When you have, when you have authority, yes, it's about authority. There are people that will come to you. They'll say. What are you doing? What do you want to do? I am your senior brother. No, yes, this is to, you know, That's what Eliab told David. If I have not done it, how can you do it? And then David said, What are you saying? Is there not a cause? 
Is there not a reason? Yes, Rishina. Why am I in Kiev tonight? Is there not a cause? Is there not a reason? Yes, Why Prishina. am I in Ukraine this Bok week? Is there not a cause? Yes, Prishina. Is there not a reason? Yes, Prishina. Why are you there tonight? I said, Why are you there tonight? I said, Why are you there tonight? Why are you, there Why are you in the world today? What are you doing here? Why are you there? There is a reason why you are here. Yes, Prince The manifestation of that reason oh, here tonight. Number one. The meals. Yes. Number two. Yes, Sila. The mantle. Yes, mantle. Number three. Yes, the minister. Oh, yeah. I pass it on to you. Three, yes, last. This is your day. This is your time. And this is and the moment of the mantle coming upon your life. Tell the Lord, I am here. Tell the Lord, I am here. I need my mantle yes, tonight. I need my mantle tonight. I need my mantle tonight. I need that power tonight. I need that authority tonight. The mantle. The mantle. The mantle. The mantle. The mantle. The power. The authority. The authority. It's in your mouth already. It's in your hand already. When you say the word, it will be confirmed. When you cast out devils, Very they come out. Pretty mind. When you lay hands on the sick, they will come out. The word is in your mouth. Authority, Authority and power. Authority and power. Authority and power. Slava to you start. If you're sick in your body, Slava. The word of authority will Slava. drive it out. If you're afflicted, he sell it by now. If you're oppressed, he any problem you have, that word of authority is at work right now. Is at work right now. You're not weak anymore. You're not sick anymore. You're not oppressed anymore. And you're not falling anymore. You're not down. You're not down. He's alive today. Rise up and take your place. Rise up and take your place. Rise up and take your place. And, your place. and do what the Lord has called it's you to do. And be who the Lord has called you to be. Pragmatic to his This is your day. This is your time. This is your time. This is your time for ministers of the mantle. Ministers of the mantle. Ministers of the mantle. Ministers of the mantle. It is yours. It is yours. That's for you. It is yours. That's for you, Star. It is now. Vlast. It is now. Vlast to the bear. It is now. Vlast to the bear. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Tonight, Sivonia, we're going to pray two types of prayer. One is for you to receive your miracle. Per voice to be. The other one is to go out and mean some miracles to other people. And remember, the day Elisha received the mantle, that that day he tested out that mantle. As he received the mantle tonight, don't wait for another month. Don't wait for another year. As you receive the mantle tonight, now and tomorrow and, the, and this coming week, you will go and look for somebody who's sick. You will go and look for somebody who's demonized. Go and look for a real problem. And then use the mantle and perform the miracle in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's be quiet now. Let's be quiet now. Identify anything in your life, in your body, in your family. Any sickness, any infirmity, any affliction. Bad luck, On yourself. Or maybe your husband. Or maybe your wife. 
or maybe your child even if the child is not here tonight if the child is at home or in the hospital or a friend and you say I want miracle for this person if the person is there by your side proceed you lay your hand on her. If you are the person that you see, you lay the hand on yourself. If the person you are claiming the miracle for is not here tonight, but just have his name on your mind. It, it, does, it doesn't matter where he is. Here in Ukraine or here in Europe or here in Africa or anywhere. Miracle time now. If you are sick, you want prayer. If you are oppressed, you want prayer. If you are afflicted, you want prayer. If you are standing in for somebody, you raise up your hand. Remember the word of authority. The word of authority is going to come right now. And the healing will come to you. The miracle will come to you. We are ready to pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come on behalf of all these people. The problem in the brain, I come Ready to come out in Jesus' name. Problem of Galave Mosgu. Pavelva Prikratitsa. Epilepsy, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Duke, epilepsy. Ya Pavelva Ubrisa. Vaimea Isusa. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Grisha, Tam. We bereave Vaimea Isusa. The impotency in that man there, I command you, be removed in Jesus' name. Impotencia. Ya Pavelva Ubrisa. Vaimea Isusa. All that asthma, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Asthma. Vetam Shaloveke. Ubrisa. Vaimea Isusa. The problem in the ear, the deafness, I command you be healed in Jesus' name. The pain inside the bone in the ankle. Be healed in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray. Gospel, Any loose. form of sickness, cancer or tuberculosis, paralysis, tuberculosis. or blindness, I transfer the power of God upon your life yeah, right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that you lay your hand upon everyone. Touch everyone right now. Manifest your power. Deliver all your prayers. Serve the captive queen. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Confirm the miracle of what? Gospel, Yavi, Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. Thank you, because I know it's done. Thank you, because I know it's done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 You are healed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now. Amen. Listen to me. A teacher who knows how to write and cannot teach a student how to write. That teacher is a failure. A minister who knows how to heal the sick and cannot make the other ministers listening to him how to heal the sick. That minister is a failure. A man of God who has authority to cast out devils and cannot train and teach other ministers to cast out devils. That man of God is a failure. A father. 
who knows how to do something and is not intelligent enough to teach his child how to, to reproduce himself in the child. That father is a failure. And thank God I'm not a failure. Everything I have done Everything I know how to do, you will do it. Yes, Ivonia. Pere dam vam. Sio na sio ya spasobin. Sio sto bok bjo medal. Ya vam shas ve sobo juna vas va ime isusa. When a teacher teaches a student how to write, kada ushit el ushit shelove kupisa. The student will go out. Kanesh that student by Dios. That will be the first letter you have, you write in your life after that teaching. Post the on dojin practicovat to show you how to If you never do it, if you never say it, if you never manifest authority, how would you know you have authority? Vlas uje bude pere danovam. A policeman that has uniform. Tolka kagda ve national de praktikovat. He never puts on the uniform. Ve u vidite prayavle. He never goes on the road. Poli melise is kida posti. He never commands anything. Katore ni kagda ni advice or inform. He has authority. Nikto ni kagda iwo duva shout. Now tonight you are going to have that authority. Aita mu ya sivo na pere dam van vlast. And then when you see somebody who is sick, if he does the two je brasa sa iskat. Somebody has mental problem. Kak pause of aseto e vlast. You will say. This one will be my first miracle. When you see somebody who is almost dying, this one will be my first miracle. You will do it. I said you will do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, Are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, O Lord, tonight that authority you have given to every believer. I pass it on to your people tonight in Jesus' name. Receive that authority. Receive that, Receive that authority. 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 And Lord, I pray. Gospel as they go out here tonight, and they see people who are sick, people who are demonized, people who have any problem, I pray problem. that your word in their mouth will carry out your power in Jesus' name. Receive the sick will be healed through you. The oppressed will be delivered through you. The miracles will happen through you. The miracles will happen through you. You will move mountains in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, confirm it on every body. Confirm it on every body. Confirm it on every body. I said because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said, Amen. Oh, thank. Amen. Now the Lord said, You have the faith. Now as a grain of mustard seed. As a grain of and something is turning up in your heart now. You're looking for the sick now. Where are they? You're looking for the demonized now. Where are they? And then if you will say, no, now she's a gavarit. If you will say, gavarit. Don't think. Protiv apsayates and do mat. Not if you will feel. Ni perejivasto ajeste sto. If you will think. Ni nada perejivasto ajeste sto. If you will imagine. Avdruk. When you see the sick now. Ne nada prostate. If you will say. Is kazat lover. This mountain. Eta nitwa ya sila. Be thou removed. Eta ivo vlas. Be cast into the sea. If sio me ya sila. I will not doubt in your heart. Yes, it's in him samini wa esa. That that mountain will obey you. Si apsayate tva nashtu pavinova savam. Go out and do it. I dite it for it should esa. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
Она все, э, все дни приходила на костылях. All the days I was coming here uh, on my wheelchair. Правда, вчера я уже с одним ходила костылем, но мне врач строго запретил это. И вчера на вечернем yeah, служении... After one day, I, you know, she started, after two days she began to walk in crutches, came out of the washer and began to walk только... in crutches, but still she still had the crutches yesterday. Но вчера на последнем служении, когда пастор Кумуи проповедовал, я оставила все костыли. I left off my crunches. И даже когда я домой пришла, у меня трое деток, и младшего я взяла и положила в кроватку. Просто я пошла, его взяла, около 17 килограмм положила. And I have three kids, and yesterday after the service, I came on my own feet, on my own feet, I came home. I have three kids. I took the youngest. He's about 17, almost 35 pounds weight. I took him by myself and I put him in the bed. Слава Иисусу. Я лично сейчас осознаю, что Иисус мой лучший друг. And I truly understand right now that Jesus is my best friend. Я влюблена в Иисуса. I felt in love with him. Вся слава Иисусу. And all the glory to him. Спасибо вам большое. Thank you. Thank you. Спасибо вам большое.